Hello, I'm Reena, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how we can troubleshoot the 404 no such key error from the Amazon Simple Storage Service. We will go through all the necessary troubleshooting steps to help us identify the root cause of 404 no such key error returned by S3. Let's get started. Amazon S3 generally returns 404 errors if the requested object is missing from the bucket. Before user make get or head requests for an object, make sure that the object is created and available in the S3 bucket. So let's see how to check if an object is available in a bucket. You can review the contents of the bucket from the S3 console or you can run the head object command using the AWS command line interface. Also, make sure that you are using the most recent AWS CLI version so that you don't receive errors when running the AWS CLI command. Amazon S3 delivers a strong read after write consistency for all applications. After a successful write of a new object or an overwrite or delete of an existing object, any subsequent read request immediately receives the latest version of the object. S3 also provides strong consistency for list operations. After a write, you can list the objects in a bucket. Because the requested object is available in the S3 bucket for some time and we are still receiving a 404 no such key error again, let's check the following troubleshooting steps. First, let's confirm that the request matches the object name exactly, including the capitalization of the object name. Request for S3 objects are case sensitive. For example, if an object is named myimage.jpg but myimage.jpg is requested, then the requester receives a 404 no such key error. Next, we must confirm that the requested path matches the path to the object. Otherwise, the requester receives a 404 no such key error. If the path to the object contains spaces, then be sure that the request uses the correct syntax to recognize the path. For example, if you are using the AWS CLI to download the, an object to your Windows machine, you must use quotation mark around the object path. The object path must look like this. Check the object name for any special character or URL encoded character that are difficult to see, such as carriage returns or new lines. For example, the object name Test with a carriage return at the end shows as test percentage 0A in the Amazon S3 console. To check object's name for special characters, you can run the list objects hyphen v2 command with the parameter hyphen hyphen output JSON. The JSON output makes characters such as returns slash r visible. If an object name has a special character that's not always visible, remove the character from the object name and then try accessing the object again. Optionally, you can enable server access logging to review request records in further detail for issues that might be causing the 404 no such key error. Additionally, note that if an object is missing from the bucket and the requester doesn't have S3 list bucket access, then the requester will receive a 403 access denied error. If you receive a 403 access denied error, Resolve the issue related to the missing object. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.